All right, guys, Good old Boy 32 here checking out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, the Shack of Freedom. And why do we call it Freedom Shack? Because we can sing songs like this. Sing it with me. Do you want to build an AR and watch a liberal's head explode? Anyway, I'm not saying that you can be a liberal and not a gun thing. But in any case, I love to build AR-15 packages. And packages is what we're getting ready to do. Uh, what is, what are we going to do this time? So let, let me tell you what I do when I sit down and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what type of AR I want to build. I just like think of the concept. Are we doing it for competition? Are we going to do it? Is this a uh, duty style rifle? Is it a precision rifle? Is it a, uh, just a blaster? Is it a trunk monkey? Is it one of the things, you know, what, what are we going to do? And I started thinking to myself, self, I want to do something really cool something similar to like back, they had back in the day in the Vietnam era. I mean, not necessarily even the Vietnam era, but back in when I was in the service, we had a car 15. Now I was thinking, I don't want to necessarily build a exact duplicate or, or a, uh, what do you call that? A clone. Cause I'm not really into that kind of thing. I don't give a shit if it's, you know, period correct or whatever. But what I was thinking about, let's just build a fun, fun rifle. All right, so uh, another company we want to talk about is Harry's Holsters. Uh, haven't done a review on these guys because it's been a while since I've actually done a pistol review. Speaking of which, Harry's Holsters, one of the best holsters there are out there. I do have some more holsters that i got to do reviews on. I've been wearing one for quite some time now, damn near a year, and I really need to finish up the review on that because, well, it's probably one of the best holsters I've had. I'll put the link down below to uh, Mr. Harry's Holsters. Actually, you can find the link because I can't put links down below because in fear that they'll shut my channel down. But if you go to kb32tac.com, you'll see links to all the cool supporters that we have on the channel. All right, back to the bill. Well, let's talk about, well, we're all over the place right now. Squirrel, in any case, I want to have fun in this video. This is going to be, we're not talking about politics. We're not going to talk about Ralph Northam or that Whitmer lady up there who decided to go ahead and shut down uh, the uh, the great state of Michigan. The Cherry Festival. I was talking to my buddy, Bad Billy, and Big John live for a while up there, and they were telling me they're shutting down the Cherry Festival. Wow. Anyway, she's lost her ever-loving mind. So what are we going to do? I've got a really cool pistol right here. Picked this thing up on and put it on layaway a couple months ago. But prior to all this crap happening, this is a Smith & Wesson m and 22. And remember, we were talking about this pistol in, in the past because uh, if you have some individuals that are new to firearms, a lot of time it's, it's cool to take them out and let them shoot something that doesn't have the recoil of, say, a full-blown 9mm. Not that a 9mm has a lot, but I'm talking about people who have never held a firearm. So anyway, uh, we're going to be doing a review on this guy right here. I had took this out the other day with my buddy Lance. Shot, um, I would put a couple hundred rounds to it and just had an absolute blast. Uh, no malfunctions, with the exception of me and uh, trying to mess around and have fun with it. But excellent trigger pull, a lot of fun, good learning tool. And uh, we'll go through it like that. I also picked up another Mark, a Mark IV, Ruger Mark IV, uh, and put it on layaway. I like to find these deals on that are used. And as long as the firearm's in good shape, man, why not? So anyway, we're going to be doing a review on that for all you people who are interested in seeing me do something besides another AR-15 build. Also, check it out, man. Shall not comply. It's from my buddy Johnny B. Uh, Y'all look him up on uh, 180 Second Ideas, or is Johnny B. I can't remember what his name is this week, but in any case, that's it. All right, so in the last couple of weeks, and again, this is you and I having a talk, uh, you understand that I went out and bought a TIG welder. And the reason I bought a TIG welder is because, well, I uh, want to pin and weld a bunch of muzzle brakes. This one in particular is going to have to have a pin and welded muzzle brake. Reason being also is that we're going to do a full-blown review of this build package right here, but I'm going to put a regular old M4 style stock on it. We can go ahead and get rid of this rubber padding. I, I don't even know why they have those. Uh, well, anyway, the M4 uh, stock right here. Check it out. Picked up a 50 amp breaker. We're going to do the install on that probably sometime next weekend. Right now, I'm just, I got to I gotta go from here to actually putting in shoe mold upstairs and moving furniture around. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is, uh, and we're going to do a full-blown review, but I just want to show you what this build is going to look like, what encompasses the build, and what we're doing so you get an idea. Again, I wanted to build something that was old school, car, 15, um, big old flash brake, muzzle brake on there, flash suppressor, 
uh, carry handle. Ooh, and M4 stock and a, and a, and a quad rail. Something kind of made, you know, my own. So anyway, uh, Palmetto State Army, they got this deal right here. And I've shown you guys this video, this piece in a video a little while ago, but this is their 10 and a half inch upper. Ooh, look at that. And this has got the nitride barrel on it, uh, regular old bird cage up here, front sight post, uh, regular old, uh, what do you call these things, plastic grips. And let's see here, I can go ahead and yank these off like that because we're not going to need those. But I've got a stack of these things laying around. So anyway, this is their 10 and a half inch build pistol kit. And it comes with, this is the classic uh, Mission First Tactical. And this has their new brace. Now I want to do a review specifically on this brace. And this is not like your KAK, uh, but it's very similar. It's got a set screw in the bottom of it. You've got a QT mounts over here and here. And we'll do a review on that. Uh, the kit does come with a uh, regular mil spec buffer tube, uh, castle nut, and uh, some other things. And that's the reason why I wanted this, because we're going to actually take this and replace it with this. Now, how are we going to do that? Here we go. This is going to be the cool part, plus a regular old uh, lower parts kit that they have in here with an A2 style grip. We're going to put this guy on right here. Now, I picked this thing up for like... $17 or something like this is the Gem Tech or the Gun Tech USA, Scottsdale, Arizona. Look at that. That is a five and a half inch muzzle brake. Now, the idea is that we're going to put this guy on here, and that's going to give us our overall length of 16 inches once we pin and weld it. And guess what? I can put this guy on there and because it's considered at that point a rifle and we've been talking a lot about all that stuff and the rules and everything but here's the other piece of resistance this thing right here is on sale if you go to kb32tech.com i'm gonna put the link to, uh not the link but pictures and all kinds of stuff but this is the psa carry handle and this guy right here i'm pretty sure is made by fn these things are top notch uh and we're going to put it on here so we'll have this guy right here, a UTG drop-in. I've got several videos of using these guys. This, in my opinion, is probably one of the best drop-ins for the money. I think you can get to these things for like 35, 40 bucks. But the idea is just to have a rifle that's fun. Got a quad rail on it to make it a little bit more aggressive and more personal. Uh, and this big old flash brake right here on it. And it's just, this is gonna be fun. I can't wait to see what this stuff looks like when it goes pew, pew, pew. So anyway, do you want to build an AR? Hell yes, I do. And I want to have fun doing it because we've got a couple of ARs ready to go. And again, these are things that I actually put together uh, way before all this crap started and everything, all the parts and pieces disappeared off the shelves. Uh, I'm still in the market and looking for things every single day for projects that I can do a couple months down the road. But anyway, that's it. Uh, the CAR-15 uh, KB-32 special project is coming down. We'll go ahead and do a review on all these parts and pieces so you can see exactly what you are getting involved in. But this is going to be a fun project. Not so serious. I could care less how it prints at 100 yards. It's how it prints at 50 yards. And will it cover a silhouette? And that's it. That's all I want. It's Codeboy32. Guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We always end them like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not freedom. I'm talking about those individuals. This is a knife hand. Those individuals who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. I'm Coda Boy 32 and I'm out. Y'all be good.